Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about how to drain a lymph gland from an ear infection. Now, the lymph glands, we call them lymph nodes in medicine, are really part of the immune system. They're places where disease-fighting white blood cells get together, get to know each other, swap information, and make chemicals and other cells that help fight off infections. So anytime you get an infection, it's not unusual for the lymph glands or lymph nodes around that area to get inflamed or swollen a little bit. Most commonly, you can feel those here in your neck, sometimes in the back of the neck, sometimes under the ears or in front of the ears or behind the ears. And a real easy place is kind of right at the back of the head where they're often sandwiched right between the skin and the skull. And any time you get an infection, any of these nodes can swell. Now, normally, when the infection goes away, the nodes go down on their own. You don't have to do anything about that. But occasionally, especially in the case of a bacterial infection, such as some ear infections, the bacteria will actually drain into the lymph node along with the cells that are fighting the infection and infect the node itself. You'll know that because the node will be unusually large, greater than about a half inch in size, and it may be tender, usually unless you have a strep throat or mono, the nodes that are swollen aren't terribly painful. But especially when there's just one or two nodes, they're large and really tender to the touch, that's much more likely an infection. Now, often those infected nodes will still get better with an oral antibiotic. Occasionally an antibiotic injection may be necessary in severe cases. But rarely the node will be so inflamed that it has to be removed or drained by an ear, nose, and throat surgeon. If you have a node that's looking that bad, hopefully you've already shown it to your doctor and he or she has found you a surgeon who can address it, especially if it's not getting better. If you feel like you're developing a boil or an abscess, something that looks like a pimple, anywhere on your skin or on a lymph node, you really need to get that seen immediately. Usually it's a pretty simple surgery, and the advantage is when it's done, the doctor can collect a culture, find out what bacteria it is that needs to be treated, and prescribe the right antibiotic and follow-up. Talking about draining an infected lymph node after an ear infection, I'm Dr. David Hill.